السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته. So بسم الله we can have a very short sort of lesson, a very short sort of lesson. And what I wanted you to do is, I wanted us just to quickly summarize the verbs we did actually. So I wanted to actually record the verb skills so you can practice them. Inshallah. So, Bismillah. Um, let me just see what we did. Okay, that's fine. Okay, so Bismillah, we answer now. We answer now. So we did so far. We did two, three scales actually. Alfi al Maldi, Alfi al Mudari. Within Alfi al Maldi, we first did the the normal one where the doer is known, like fa ala fatahan daraba nasara samia karuma. We did it with the the doer is is known. So that's the first scale that we did. So we're going to practice that now. Then the next scale we did was the Mudari scale. We did the present tense scale. That is where the do is also known like Yaf'alu, they are doing Yaf'ta'hu, they are opening Yadribu, they are hitting Yansuru, they are helping Yasma'u, they are hearing Yakrumu, and they are uh, <coughs> they are being generous or, or noble or so on. So those are the first two scales we're going to practice. Then last week we introduced a new scale which is called the Majhul scale. We call it the, the Majhul, Majhul scale. So in this scale there we did Fu'ila, Duriba and Nusira. So Daraba was he hit, Duriba means he was hit. Nasara means he helped, Nusira means he was helped. So what I want us to do, inshallah, we're going to record, we're going to all say together, the fa'ala, fataha, daraba, nasara, sami'a, karuma. Then we're going to say the mudari one, and then we're going to say the majhul one. Okay, so you must say it with me, and then I'm going to record it, and then we'll send it to you for, for practice, inshallah. <coughs> okay, so, bismillah. Let's start with the الفعل المضارع فعل فعل فعلوا فعلت فعلنا فعلت فعلتم فعلت فعلتنا فعلت فعلنا فتح فتح فتحوا فتحت فتحنا فتحت فتحتم فتحت فتحتنا فتحت فتحنا طرب ضرب ضرب ضربت ضربنا ضربت ضربتم ضربت ضربتنا ضربت ضربنا نصر نصر نصروا نصرت نصرنا نصرت نصرتم نصرت نصرتنا نصرت نصرنا سمع سمع سمعوا سمعت سمعنا سمعت سمعتم سمعت سمعتنا سمعت سمعنا كرم كرم كرمو كرمت كرمنا كرمت كرمتم كرمتي كرمتنا كرمت كرمنا نعبد الفعل المضارع يفعل يفعل يفعلون تفعل يفعلنا تفعل تفعلون تفعلين تفعلنا أفعل نفعل يفتح يفتح يفتحون تفتح يفتحنا تفتح تفتحون تفتحين تفتحنا أفتح نفتح يضرب يضرب يضربون تضرب يضربنا تضرب تضربون تضربين تضربنا أضرب نضرب ينصر ينصر ينصرون تنصر ينصرنا تنصر تنصرون تنصرين تنصرنا أنصر ننصر يسمع يسمع يسمعون تسمع يسمعنا تسمع تسمعون تسمعين تسمعنا أسمع نسمع يكرم 
yakrumu yakrumuna takrumu yakrumna takrumu takrumuna takrumina takrumna akrumu nakrumu now we're going to do al fi'l madhi al majhul fu'ila 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 fu'ilu fu'ilat fu'ilna fu'ilta fu'iltum fu'ilti fu'iltunna fu'iltu fu'ilna duriba duriba duribu duribat duribna duribta duribtum duribti duribtunna duribtu duribna nusira nusira nusiru nusirat nusirna nusirta nusirtum nusirti nusirtunna nusirtu nusirna so that is what you have to be able to say from memory like that smoothly inshallah ta'ala so we're going to forward that recording now to the the first years inshallah i can forward for to all the years doesn't matter and um, well, one would like you to practice those scales and get them smooth, inshallah. Today, I'm not going to do any new work. Okay, let me just, um, just maybe just summarize. If you look at the screen, we see two headings, two headings on the screen. Um, I'm probably blocking all the one, but the one just says on, on the right hand side. Al-fi'l al-maldi al-ma'loom On the right hand side Al-fi'l al-maldi al-ma'loom On the left hand side Al-fi'l al-maldi al-majhul So fi'l means the verb Al-maldi means the past tense verb So both these scales are past tense scales At the end it says Al-ma'loom We have al-ma'loom here And we have al-majhul So we have the word Ma'loom, and we have the word, the word majhul. From the word ma'loom, you have the word ilm, ain la mim, ain la mim, which means knowledge. From the word majhul, we have jahala, jahala, jahiliya, jahal. Jahal means to be ignorant, to be unaware. So al fi'l al maldi al ma'loom is the past tense scale where ma'loom, where the doer is known. You know who the doer is known. And the fi'al maldi majhul is the past tense scale where the doer is not known. Okay, with me. So if I come to the, the, the verb daraba, is the doer known? Yes, it's known because daraba means he hit. So the doer is the, the he, the doer is known. If I use the verb duriba, duriba, which means he was hit, the doer there is, is not known. The doer there is not known or not specified. If I have the word darabu, it means they three plus males hit or they three plus males are uh, yeah, hit, yes. The doer is known, it's they three plus males. If I have this, the, 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 the majhul verb, duribu now, not darabu, duribu, it means they three plus males were hit, and then there the doer is not known. Just think about it. They three plus males, they males were hit. It doesn't specify who the doer is. Okay. And so on. Dorabat, Duribat, and and so on. So this is what we covered last week. We covered this. For this week, um, I would like you to um, I would like you to on that on that folder in week three under solve one there is so last week you had solve exercise number you had homework to do I think you had homework to do this was the yeah, homework was to write out the Maldi scale for I think for Ila and Doriba and Nusira and then you also had to um, translate this one here. Yeah. I won't go through this now, exercise 7. Uh, let's leave it for now, inshallah. We'll send you an answer sheet for that. But let's go through week number 3, solve 1. There is an exercise solve number 8.
uh, Nasrin, if you could just please send it to the classes as well. It's maybe easier if they have it in their WhatsApp as well. Uh, sort of number, number eight. <clears throat> so in sort of number eight, what I'd like you to do here is so this worksheet number eight here. This worksheet has a mix of past tense verbs. What you have to do is that if the Arabic is given, you must give the, the English equivalent. If the English is given, you must give the Arabic equivalent. So let's do a few together just to get into it, inshallah. The word Nusira, Bismillah. The word Nusira, you must give me the translation. What's the translation of Nusira? Also, if you're watching the live stream, then you must make sure that the, uh, the, the, the play thing we will, ex email, we will email all the exercises as well, inshallah. You must make sure that the play, you know, that the bar on the, on the live is all the way to the, the end. I'm just showing everybody quickly because I think some people might be delayed in the in the broadcast. So if you go to YouTube and you add Mizan Institute. Let's go here, please. Mizan Institute. Mizan Institute. Okay. If you going to if you come onto if you come onto the live stream. Just make sure that this bar is at the end because maybe you're watching from like the middle then you're still in Nahu and you're answering questions in Nahu while you're in already. So if you're in, the, in YouTube, just make sure that this bar is at the end so you're basically with the class where it is. Otherwise you'll be watching the class a bit delayed um, for some of you. Okay. Anyway, let's go back. So, Nusira means what? He was helped. He one male, he was helped. Good. Next one. Duribna. Bismillah. Duribna. If you can just give me, actually give me the answer make, to make it quicker. Write out the answers on the chat for 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So quickly on the chat, you write down the answers. Number one, number two, number three, number four, number five, number six, number seven, eight, number nine, number ten. Give me the answers for the first ten. I'll give you a few minutes, but start showing the answers for the first ten. We say each individually. One, two, three, and so on. Okay, <clears throat> so keep posting the answers, I'll go through with you, inshallah, as you're posting the answers. 
But Nusira, number one, means he was helped. Nasara, the ma'loom verb, means he, he helped. But Nusira means he was helped. Number two, Duribna, Duribna. The other version, the ma'loom version, Durabna means we hit. Durabna means what? We hit. Whereas Duribna means we were hit. Duribna, we were hit. Khuliqta. It becomes the famous uh, Nasheed. خُلِقْتَ مُبَرَّأً مِنْ كُلْ مِنْ كُلْ مِنْ كُلْ عِيبٍ The crash, make this Nasheed to the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. They say, خُلِقْتَ مُبَرَّأً مِنْ مِنْ كُلْ عِيبٍ That you, Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, خُلِقْتَ You have been created. خَلَقْتَ You created. خُلِقْتَ خُلِقْتَ You have been created free from any عيب from any faults or deficiencies. Number one, نُصِرْتُ Nasartu means I helped. Nusirtu means I was helped. Good. Number five. Qutilti. Qatalti, the ma'loom version means you one female killed. Qutilti means you one female were killed. You one female were killed. Next one. He was created. He was created. What's the answer for that one? I know he created was khalaqa. He created in Arabic is khalaqa. So what is he was created? It's going to be khuliqa. It's going to be khuliqa. Next one. Dara Duribu. Duribu. Duribu, Darabu means they many males hit. So Duribu means they many males were hit. Next one, Khuliqu, Khalaqu means they created. Khuliqu means they were created. Good. Last two, Nusirti, Nusirti, Nasarti means you one female helped. Nasarti, you one female helped. So therefore, no sirti is going to be, you one female were helped. Last one, we were helped. We were helped. We helped is nasarna. We were helped is nusirna. Nusirna. Okay. So, your homework is sort of exercise eight. It's going to be good practice for you. So two things home for sort of. Number one, <clears throat> the recording we sent you, that first slide I showed you, the recording we sent you, and the first slide I said showed you, make sure that you, that you're able to say all of these scales smoothly from memory, inshallah. Be able, be able to say that these scales from memory as we sent you in the recording. Homework number two is be sure to do worksheet number eight and then next week inshallah we can go to the next scale which is the the present tense module okay so please try to master this try to get competent inshallah ta'ala the main thing about sarf is just practice lots of practice and application there's not a lot to understand but there's a lot of application so just keep applying it and it will become smooth inshallah ta'ala And we'll end sort of with with that, and we'll move on and end and just do our our nasiha, inshallah.